Some people don't believe in the coronavirus. Some people are bloody idiots. deny anything. They will ignore all the evidence and claim the earth is flat. Others will deny all the evidence that man went to the moon and scream that it's all fake. And there are yet others who will deny that the coronavirus is a real thing. One thing nobody can deny are my amazing patrons. Massive thanks to all my patrons, including new patrons, Dark Sabre, Chris Holmes, Crafty Keeler, Nell Penyon, William Schofield, Nicola Redmond, AZ Atheist, Grumpy Old Man, Hugh Jars, Larry XK, Yuha Eskalinen, and my latest patrons, Purple Rhymes with Orange, and Tim Nicholas. Thank you also very much. So, John McDaniel, 60 year old president of his company, resident Marion County, Ohio, and lockdown protester. Now, John here was not a happy man. Now, there are plenty of people who don't enjoy the lockdown, but understand that it's a necessity, a way of limiting and slowing the spread of the virus. Now, the governor of Ohio, Mike DeWine, instituted closures and lockdowns, as in many other states and indeed many countries around the world. We've seen plenty of people here on YouTube and elsewhere on social media claiming all sorts of ridiculous things about corona, that it's just the flu, that it's fake, and so on. Well, John thinks that the whole thing is some sort of ploy. He posted on Facebook, Does anybody have the guts to say this COVID-19 is a political ploy? Asking for a friend. Prove me wrong. Now, I'm not quite sure what political ploy John thinks there is. This sort of thing is happening in virtually every country around the world. So it's not right wing, it's not left wing, it's all over. And why? Because we know that there is a virus, we know that it spreads and we know that it kills people. We haven't got the the means to stop it killing people right now, but what we do have is the ability to stop or at least slow its spread. A couple of days later, John made a further post. If what I'm hearing is true, that DeWine has ordered all bars and restaurants to be closed, I say bullshit. He doesn't have that authority. If you are paranoid about getting sick, just don't go out. It shouldn't keep those of us from living our lives. The madness has to stop. Now, as I'm filming this, 3rd of April, the figures for the United States are 870,745 infected. That's 18,786 today. And a total of 49,221 deaths with 1,673 today. That is scary. So what do you think would be happening, John, if there wasn't lockdown? If people went about their daily normal lives meeting and greeting and passing it on. We know how easy flu can pass around. COVID-19 transmits even more easily. COVID-19 is even more lethal, as those figures show. One thing you don't do is this. Deciding to protest, arm like the flipping Terminator. Your government, and indeed all governments, are trying, trying to save their citizens. Your medical staff are giving their lives trying to save you and others like you. Now these guys are spoiling for a fight. Just what exactly are they defending? Their right to go out and about and pass on a lethal disease to others. Not very clever, is it? COVID-19 is from the corona family of viruses. It's given us SARS, 
MERS, and now COVID-19. So just what are these guys planning to do with their weapons? Because these little buggers are not going to take any notice of an Uzi 9mm. So you might be wondering, why am I telling you about John McDaniel? Well, John McDaniel has two adult sons. He also has a wife. She is now his widow. That's right. John McDaniel caught COVID-19. He was the first resident of Marion County to die of it. Now, this story is incredibly sad. I feel terrible for both John's sons and his wife. Now, I don't know what precautions John did or did not take. He may have actually taken every precaution under the sun because it can still get to you. The problem is, John's posted messages like he has. How many other people have taken those on board and are now doubting the science, are, are refusing to follow the instructions of their government. John's wife has said it's now clear that shutdown orders were necessary. She said, we know if John was still here with us, he would acknowledge the national crisis we are in, abide by the stay at home order and encourage family and friends to do the same. Unfortunately, his posts are out there. They've spread. People are listening to him. People are going to suffer and die because of what he said. This just shows that all these conspiracy and um, science deniers have got it wrong. Th that's the reason that some of this stuff is um, hidden on YouTube. It causes real harm. People will die. It needs to stop. My thoughts are with Mrs McDaniel and her sons.